Welcome to Lex's World. Today I wanted to discuss the attitude of different religions towards marijuana. A weird topic for an agnostic to come up with, but there you go. So, um, this question came into my head years ago when I saw a t-shirt that said, God made weed, man made booze, in God I trust. That shirt really got me thinking, what do different religions think about legalization, be it recreational or medical? When I started researching, I expected to find that all Christian groups, Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, and so on, are anti-weed, considering these faith-based groups tend to be more conservative. Instead, I found that if this was 40 years ago, my assumption would be correct. But nowadays, there's a hugely broad spectrum of official and unofficial positions that these groups have moved to. It really shows the changing face of pod attitudes. On one end, there's plenty of religious groups, like the Catholic Church, who are still primarily anti-weed. Most of these groups aren't against weed because they have any objection to the substance itself, but rather because they believe that being intoxicated on anything is a path away from heaven, or that going against your society's laws is a sin, regardless of what the laws are. Further left on the scale, some groups, especially smaller Christian groups, support medical use under the idea that allowing pot to be given to the sick is an example of compassion, and spreading compassion is the path of God. Usually groups tend to not give any opinion on recreational use. The Presbyterian Church, the United Methodist Church, the United Church of Christ, and most progressive Jewish and the most progressive Muslim groups are examples of religious institutions that take some level of pro-pot stance, officially. Some religions and cultures have an extensive history with THC, whether they'd like to admit it or not. I included a link in the description that gives you an excellent summary of just a sample of that history. Finally, on the far left, there are religions, some very established, and some more like cults, that believe that pot is a path to better spirituality and introspection. I believe that's true, by the way. Rastafarians are the most liberal example among the big players. Even more extreme, there are smaller pot cults that take marijuana even more seriously and follow what's called cantheism, believing weed itself is the direct path to enlightenment. The most obvious such sect is the THC ministry. I'll throw a link in the description to their website in, as well. And uh, yeah, that's religions on marijuana. That's the show for the day. Google your own religion's stance on marijuana. I highly recommend that. You may be surprised at what you find. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Catch you next time.